morning, GMS. I'm Lillian. And I'm Aubrey. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of January 24th, 2022. Yearbook prices have increased to $40. You can get one at yearbookforever.com. There is a link on the GMS homepage if you are interested. If you're at home due to illness, please make sure that your guardian calls 317-889-4040, extension 2, to let the school know what's going on. Dance, soccer, and volleyball skills clinics are all coming up soon. For further information and dates, you can find flyers in the middle school common area. There will also be reminders on the announcements. Make sure that if you're quarantined to keep up with your work on Canvas. If you have any questions, you can message your teachers on Canvas also. Students, remember, you need to wear your mask with your mouth and nose covered at all times. This includes when talking to your friends in the locker room and on the bus. Now let's go to the interview, Top Trending, and the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Avery here with te Technology Integration Specialist, Ms. Harrison. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome, Avery. How are you? Good. Good. Would you like to start by telling us a little about yourself? Sure. Um, I live in Indianapolis, so I have a little bit of a commute every day to come down here. I, have, uh, I live with my husband and our uh, eight-year-old rescue dog, Toby, the boxer, and I have two daughters and two gorgeous grandchildren. That's really cool. Explain what you do here at GMS. Well, that's an interesting question because um, I actually work for the entire school corporation, but my office is here in the middle school. So sometimes I'm at the elementary schools, sometimes I'm over at the high school. I deal with anything that is software in the school corporation. So I work a lot with teachers, helping them learn how to use different tools in the classroom with you guys. Wow. If you could have any other job than you have right now, what would it be? I want to be the person that names the crayons at Crayola to give them creative names based on the colors. That is like my all-time coolest job. <laughs> um, how long have you been working in education? Well, I've been, February will be my eighth year here at Greenwood, but I've been working in education for probably over 20 years, and I've been doing software and teacher training for a long time. Wow. Um, what would you do in your free time when you're not at school? When I'm not at school, um, my husband and I are avid darters, and we play in uh, leagues and in different competitions. I love cooking. I love hanging out with my dog and binge-watching Netflix. <laughs> Thank you for coming on our show today, Ms. Harrison. Have a great week. Thanks for having me, Avery. Hello, and welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Jackson. And I'm Skye, and we're off to number one. According to HuffPost News, the new Chronicles of Rebecca, a novel by Kate Wiggin, was recently returned to the Bose Public Library. The problem is, the book was due 110 years ago. The book seemed to be in great condition, but if they were counting the two cents per day fine at the Bowes Library from when the book was checked out, the person who took this book would have paid over $800. Number two. According to Doggo News, in the article, 100-year-old monster fish caught in the Detroit River, Jennifer Johnson and her team embarked on their annual quest to survey the surgeon population in the Detroit River in mid-April 2021. Normally, when they see a fish, they say fish fish, but this time they say bit fish. This surgeon was 6 feet 10 inches long, weighed 240 labels, and was at least a century old. This is nearly over 100 labels bigger than the previous Detroit River record. Number one, on January, oh, <laughs> sorry. On January 13, 2022, a sheriff in Colorado named Siebold was called in to wrangle a loose horse. Instead of leashing it or guiding it home, he rode the prankled engine back to its home. I saw the horse crossing the road, and it's a four-lane mo major roadway. I could tell he was terrified, Siebold told Mick Clutchy News. A citizen was walking nearby, trying to stop traffic to allow him to get across. You could see it in his face. He didn't know what to do on a major roadway. He just wanted to go home, but he didn't know how to get there. Siebold and his team ended up cornering Eugene by an apartment complex, and Siebold took to the simplest idea of riding him safely back to his owners. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to Sports. I'm Jackson. 
On Monday, January 24th, 8th grade girls basketball at Decatur Middle School at 5.15 p.m. 7th grade girls basketball versus Decatur Middle School at home, 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, January 25th, boys wrestling at Beach Grove Middle School at 5 p.m. Boys wrestling at Meriden M M Middle School at 5.30 p.m. Swimming and diving versus Plainfield Community Middle School at home at 6 p.m. On Wednesday, January 26th, 7th grade boys basketball versus Greenwood Christian at home at 5.30 p.m. Thir Thursday, 24, tw January 27th, boys wrestling at Indian Creek Middle School at 5.30 p.m. Swimming and diving at Martinsville East Middle School at 6.30 p.m. That's all for sports. Have a great week, everybody.